Hi there, students. Apropos. Notice the pronunciation. This is a loan word from French. Apropos. OK, we can either use this word as a preposition or as an adjective. We use apropos as a preposition to say with reference to something, concerning something, regarding something. You can use it to introduce related information. So, apropos of what you said yesterday, uh, I think it's a very good idea, okay, with reference to, even by the way, apropos, where were you yesterday, okay, so, apropos, regarding, about, concerning, um, we need to find a solution apropos to the pollution problem in this city okay with reference to um we've covered various subjects uh, already in uh, this meeting and apropos of the first two um i would like to say that we need more money to implement them with reference to referring to um how are you doing? I'm asking you apropos your health, not your financial status. Okay? About, with reference to. Um, okay, we can also use apropos as an adjective, um, meaning appropriate. Now, there is some argument about whether this is correct or not, but I think that so many people use apropos to mean appropriate nowadays that it is valid usage. So I, um, the present that he gave me was very apropos. It was very appropriate, pertinent, apt. Yeah. Um, I would like you to make a few apropos comments apropos the situation. So I would like you to make a few apropos comments, appropriate, pertinent, apt comments, apropos, about, with reference to the situation. You see there, you've got both in a single sentence. Um, a, co a cool drink with ice is very apropos on a hot day. Now, going back to the usage with as a preposition, apropos of what you said or apropos what you said. So you can either use apropos with the preposition of or you can use it with no preposition. Yeah, apropos of uh, the problem with finance apropos the problem with finance okay meaning about concerning with reference to regarding if you like yeah okay so this uh video is apropos the meaning of the word apropos and how to use it okay like i said this word is comes from french it means it comes from a propos with regard to this purpose, a to propos purpose, okay? So with regard to this purpose, with reference to this thing, okay? I would like to speak to you apropos uh, holidays next week, okay? About. And then the other way, using it as an adjective, an apropos gift, an apropos comment, applicable to the situation, appropriate, permanent, sorry, uh, pertinent, relevant, yeah? So I hope this uh, video is apropos uh, of your English needs. It's suitable to your needs, okay? 
So what about formality? This is a pretty formal word. Um, I'd be careful using this word because you might sound a little bit pompous or weird using it. Um, I think definitely if you're writing a, an academic essay or something apropos, apropos some technical subject, then apropos is a good word. Yeah. Um, if you're using it when you're talking to friends, you're going to sound very posh and maybe a little bit formal. Okay, so be careful where you use it. I'd probably give this a formality of 7.5, even 8 on a formality scale. Okay, so I hope I've explained everything apropos the word apropos. Yeah, and I hope this explanation was an apropos explanation. Okay, so there you go, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Apropos my previous comment, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It would be a very apropos thing to do. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Apropos.